huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online community with thousands of classes for anyone who is looking to learn a new skill or improve yourself. You can use the app or go online and search for anything you need some help with and there's loads of classes on that topic. So I've been watching classes on video production to give my brain a refresher on filming and editing techniques. This class from Marcus Brownlee shows you his process from start to finish and the equipment he uses. I'm also just about to start a class called The Ultimate Self-Care Playbook with Jonathan Van Ness. If you saw my last video on burnout, you know I need to take better care of myself. So with Skillshare's premium membership, you can watch as many classes as you like rather than having to pay class by class. And once I finish these self-care classes, then I'm going to move on to productivity and learn how to utilise my time better. So if this sounds like a bit of you, or you have a specific skill you're trying to learn, then Skillshare is the perfect place to start. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare and if you do use it, please let me know in the comments below which classes you decided to take. to show you. So the movie is, see if you can guess. mother on one of the evening scenes um, and we have a few pieces like this in the collection so obviously everyone always wants to see the heart of the sea but there are some absolutely beautiful pieces from that movie that we get as well so what I'm going to do first is I can see There's a... There's something that I'm just going to very gently pick out And then what we're going to do is give it a very light, gentle clean If... I had a comment saying Did she pump when she walked away? It's not sometimes when I... When I close my hand, there's like an air pocket in my gloves, so if I do that, sometimes I squeeze the air out 
have my glove in it. Sounds oh, weird. So I'm just going to use a, a toothpick here and then I very gently just loosen anything that I think shouldn't be on there. fall onto the paper so as you can see there this has come loose and you have to keep an eye. Actually it's not come loose, it's, it's actually been damaged and smashed here. So I'm going to take extra care on this area. So there's actually just some dirt here on the um, the tissue paper. So we did manage to get some of, uh, of the dirt out first. So next, what we're going to do is get a fluffy towel. We're going to be wetting it and cleaning it, but we're not going to be soaking it uh, because we don't want the the water to stay on the glue for very long. I'm just going to move that there. And this is just to um, soak up any any water that we use, and then I've got the waterproof side of my uh, tablecloth as well. So I've got a spray bottle with some distilled water. I've got a cleaning solution in there. I do use a toothbrush, I usually use a sensitive one, um, however I also use makeup brushes because sometimes it just requires that extra careful touch. So I'll see how it goes, um, we may need to, to swap to one another if this isn't, if this isn't tough enough or this is too tough. solution in there. Okay, so. I'm going to start off with the um, the smaller, more precise brush to get in to 
There's some places where I can see there's still dirt remaining. Just get a bit of water on that. I'm just gonna use the um the big brush now. I'm just gonna tie in a bit of that solution on there. You can actually see the metal starting to react with my gloves. That's, it's not the gloves, it's actually the uh, solution. That's nothing to worry about, that's actually all the uh, the dirt coming off. So that's actually a good sign, it means the, uh, it means the bracelet is essentially shedding like a skin. clean on the back on the inside okay. so I'm just going to use soap off.
take a look at it. Very gently. Try and get the rest of the water off it. Excuse my stomach. I just had my lunch. Okay, so that is um, looking a lot more sparkly now. We've got all of the soap suds off. Right. Got all the suds off, all of the water out. However, what we do want to do is make sure that all of the moisture is removed and uh, this is where these come in. So um, every time you get a silica packet, save it. So if you ever drop something in water, um, like your phone, let's say you drop your phone in water, people put them in um, like a box with rice because the rice is absorbent. This is way, I mean this is designed to soak up the moisture. So rice is kind of designed for people who don't have silica packets. So every time you get a silica packet, save it and if you need to quickly dry something out, this is perfect. I usually keep these with electronics as well. Um, they're also very good for putting in like boots if you go on a hike um, and your boots are wet, put them in the boots overnight and it'll help soak the water up. So this isn't a big one, so I probably just put like a small packet in. And then you want to seal them because you want to keep them dry. You don't want these accidentally soaking up water because um, they'll be useless. And I just pop the bracelet. You know, you can hear, you can hear those. So rather than it rattling with the balls, it should be soft and squidgy because it's soaked up all the water from the bracelet. Um, and then the bracelet can be wrapped up and then go into our storage room. So I hope you enjoyed that. I've got <laughs> yellow gloves now. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please leave um, a comment on the video to let me know what you would like to see. Um, obviously we can't get certain items but you know if people are requesting dresses or um, you know other specific things then maybe I will be able to get something um, 
bedroom while we've got new items coming in I might be able to go into the the storage and bring something out and show you um, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you all on the next episode